would have. Has he managed to uh, recover after uh, since that match? هدف أول في محمود حسن صابر محمود حسن صابر تسديبك اللي كان مرتد هجومي رجعت الكرة لحسن الذي يسدد كرة كتشي مباشرة. Free kick here as well for the Atlas line. We're getting some uh, he has an option. Maybe trying to curl this into that. Good options. But at the same there's Alzuli and he puts it straight into the wall. That cuts out, he needs to calm things down. Well, that's clearly hit him. Is Alzuli. Seems moving okay after that. Uh, Fouling on Ezal Zuli that got him sent off after a uh, prolonged VAR check. Referee wanted a few words. For Morocco, but does seem a little bit static without the ball at the moment. As easy goes past one eventually. Is tackled but illegally so by Fissal says our decision at the moment, the Egyptians. Morocco provide that. There is a bit of speed. And the shot cross comes in. It's been dribbled across the far side and it'll go out for uh, Nice idea. Problem there. Made the run out wide to get onto that hot pass. No one else replaced him up top. And there was no one in the area. It was a teasing ball. As Alzuli gets away from one despite it. Oh, ten game goals they've scored in four games, Morocco, at this tournament. What would they give for another goal now? This is staying down. Egyptian came into the game as a marked man, and that's a that's a bad one. The only thing the referee can really do. Almost an orange card. Looks like going to take this free kick, drift it into the penalty area, plenty of spin on it as well. Half headed on, then headed away. Back into the danger area, but too much. Slick play in midfield now. Space for El Canusina. Obviously, trying to at least get through to half time before. Maybe shuffling his pack a little bit. He is uh, certainly getting plenty of attention. When he gets the ball. Is El Canus. Trying to release the runner. He gets the ball back again. Is El Canus teasing ball across, and there's the equaliser. And it's Yanis Begadali, a third goal of the tournament for the Moroccan striker. Bigger at plate for has been a great play here from Bilal El Canous. No offside. That an absolute nightmare to like. The ball whizzed in between the two into the certainty. Defenders fear to touch the ball for the danger of scoring an own goal. El Canous. Twisting, turning, looking for space. Ball spread wide for Ezal Zuni. The centre of so much good play for Morocco in this top moment. Sabari picks up.
as Ozuli. Well, Richardson popping up in the forward line. And Ozuli again. Nice play from the left back. Amraoui. He's still up there, Amraoui. Hit on the counter, goes to the near post. Missed. By, uh, says a uh, movement here from Mesal Zuli, takes it short. Now the ball chipped into the far post, the keeper. That was maybe slightly lacking in the moments after the red card. They've won the ball back again. High up the pitch, that's Al Zuli. Two men on him. Can't get past them. To hit on the counter attack when they get the chance. They're not simply going to do a low block here. El Wadi stays down. Adele. And now Hatem attacking down the left hand side. Cross comes in with a shot. Back off the defender from Fissal. And then Adele with a deflected shot. Egypt on the counter attack. Immediately goes long, looking for the run of Ezal Zuli, who's been bumped off the ball there. Not had the uh, easiest to afford the break here for Morocco. Ezal Zuli pings the ball into the far post, and how has he missed that? Sabiari. He managed to get clear on the far post. It's the last action of a breathless first half. Sabiari possibly offside, but. Let's see a replay on that, he completely miskicked it. Or oh, maybe just getting a bit big on him there, you see the best possible avenue of somehow finding a winner in this match. Now Canus trying to find that gap between the Egyptian defence and the byline. Cross, well blocked by El Canus. Gets there, gets the ball back to his captain, plays a quick little one-two on the edge of the area, thinks about the shot, but big deflection. The ball will fall to El Canus. It's Azuli again. Goes past one. Another look here. Great skills. He not. He goes long. Flicked on by uh, Fissal and then a uh, up to. Del. But another go against the near post, and that's been allowed to go through to the goalkeeper. He's a natural right back. Feels well, Benjamin Bushiari from a. Struggling to get into the side there. A few sub acts later on in the season as the shot comes in from Sobari. Didn't get enough. Julie. He's got Adele inside him. Makes the run to the right as Adele. Cuts inside one. And eventually went to throw it. We play again. Oh, Caduce. It's El Zuli. Running at his man again, he's got an overlap as well, doesn't use it as El Zuli tries to find. The runner on the far post. El Hilali is uh, out of position at the moment. Here's Adele coming forwards and then strikes forward purposefully. It's the ball to Ez El Zuli. Can't really start it to uh, puff and puff. Oh, nice ball on the edge of the area. The shot just didn't come in quickly enough as Saibari. Unceremonially tackled off the ball. Now Kalus. There's Elzu. Looks for support on the edge of the area. 50,000 Moroccans biting their nails. Crossing everything. So playing forwards now, they're on the right hand side. And the rally. There's Elzu. 
just get the impression he needs to move the ball quicker as El Canoos thinks about the shot that from Shapasa at the Azuzi goes past one and then there's a diving challenge from Ahmed. The referee, I think, getting a bit fed up. And all the back chat. Set piece really for Morocco. And they're still building nicely. Strong play from Sabari. Oh, and a little bit of space for Begraoui. Gets the ball across goal, but there's no one else there. Now is that a pass back to the goalkeeper? Nice ball in for Sabari. As the shot at goal, whistles pop. They've struggled to create chances in this second half. Morocco, where it's worth having a pop from distance one every now and again. And the crowd are absolutely bouncing. They're trying to cheer in their stretch to extra time and penalties in the semi-finals. Whereas Egypt were able to uh, additional 90. But if can come forwards if he wants to. First touch for El Mazzani. Oh, and he's uh, nailed late there off the ball. Similar to position from which he uh, made the equaliser in the first half. Over on the right. There's El Zuli. Tries to drift on into the far post. Went for the edge of the six yard box. Now it's Azuli. Number 16, the captain for Morocco. Looks like he's uh, maybe starting to uh, tire a little bit. Looks like he's running through treacle there. Near side a lead. Cross deflects and then there's a little bump in the back of the slips as he tries to turn. It's clearly where the foul was, and he's just thrown. It's El again. Not much movement coming from the number 60, but El Kadus gets the ball into the air, and that's just gone under the foot of Ishmael Sebari. This one is a lovely little ball in from El Kadus, missed by the defender, missed by Sebari as well. I just wonder if he was uh, just simply not expecting the ball to come to him. between the coaches, I think, as well. I go and have a chat. So, lost on the halfway line, and a chance now for Morocco to start to move a bit higher up the pitch for a change. El Canoos makes a nice little touch out of a, a tight space. Here is the substitute. Probably a bit of a surprise there. Yeah, the left back, uh, and uh, that's not a good sign. Now Canoe's hamstring. See it there. He's like an hardly move now. The number 23 is Adele. Gets the ball to Fissal. Opportunity here from distance, just over the crossbar. Oh. Adele has gone down. Weak strike, just a little bit high from the substitute, Gahat. Keeper, very worried. I think the substitution, if we do go into extra time. There's El Zuli now. Picks up the ball on this near side. Not have much change out of A, but he gets a bit of a space here. Puts too much on the cross. Kept in play by Al Halali. Comes back. The 
Stafford Wren striker just uh, coming forwards again to Hart Eunice as well by the way coming on the ball is cut back what a stop by the goalkeeper keeps Egypt in this final well five minutes of added time Meluzani just for once a bit of a gap opened up for Ezanzuli a brilliant reflex stop from the goalkeeper a bit more time comes off the clock another look at this uh, the gap opened up for it there's Anzuli those gaps in the middle have been so effective Egypt in this second half well Bouchard is the yellow card for the uh, Egypt player for the uh, the 23 Africa Cup of Nations, Morocco 1, Egypt 1. Morocco immediately on the attack. Extra time period now. So they rather lost their way in the second half. Nazan Zuli tapping down the left. Nazan Zuli comes back in field. El Azuzi. Ball to flex in the keeper key. Maybe an opportunity here. Lewis thinks about driving it as man instead. He goes for the back post, and that's a. Oh, that's uh, given away needlessly. As Alzuli darts his pump for the tackle. Adele gets the ball back again. Goes past what? Goes past another Adele. Looks up. Where's the support? Tries to pick out Fisal, but a lot of defenders back and only one player to aim at. And now Eunice brings the ball forward from Morocco. Suddenly the game is stretching here. Big tackle in midfield. The French league under this season. They build up on the edge of the area. Here the shot. Play by Fauzi. Shot comes in. Very much a modern number nine in that respect. Eunice. Swings the ball in, but again, space opening up. There's got to be a goal in there somewhere. Zanzuli, not for the first time, faced with our men aid. Well, I think uh, it's fair to say that the uh, NP right back has won that particular battle in this game. Salah as well to set that one up. Salah gets the ball back again. Now spreads the ball out. Oh, what a nice turn in the area from Eunice. Tracks the ball across. Golf. Picks off at the near post. That's a second. The first time, really, since the first half. Now seem to be uh, penned back in their own third of the pitch. Everyone behind the ball. It's Alzuli into the area. To the byline. Gets the cross across, but there's no one there. Then the shot comes in and deflects just wide. Zuli tries to inject some pace into things. This is bad for Mesel Zuli. Put round that before it went out of play. Going backwards for now. Well, 
Monaco pretty much camping in the final third. Now there's a nice overlap and a teasing ball in. But... Driving run. Cut short just outside the area. And this will be a dangerous position for a free kick to be... Just tugged back a bit there by... Mahmoud Gerhard. Chance is being taken here, defending the uh, free kick. So Zufa to go round the outside of the wall as well. It's teed up on the edge of the area. And Morocco in the lead. It's the incredible scene. And they have sent the crowd here in Rabat into Rato, Egypt to. Beautifully set up on the edge of the area. In fact, I don't think there was a deflection. He's just hit it with himself. The, the understated celebration. Somehow, they've got 15 minutes. Not sure what Nabil is complaining about. The linesman's on the pitch here about the first Moroccan goal but he knows he should have kept that able at the moment with just a couple of games of the season remaining it's Al Zuli gets tagged this is the goal scorer turns the ball back inside it's Yunus dances past a couple of challenges puts the ball across goal the bout hacked over his own bar by the Egyptian defender in the centre circle. I think the referee's going to have to start punishing a few cards here in a minute. Oh. Space opens up for Esau Zuli. Still Esau Zuli. Into the area, Esau Zuli, and then the shot. And then the ball's given away, and this could be an opportunity here. There's Al Zuli making a run down the left at the ball. The area, nothing given. Now there's space through the middle. Eunice. Sandwiched there between two defenders. Abdurrahman, back to goal. Tries to set up the shot, but... Oh yeah, two Egypt players go down. But now there's an opportunity, four on three here. For Morocco, find the right ball, and it's just intercepted. Green Morocco. Ball swung in, and the keeper takes it cleanly. Black. Egypt pressing forwards now. Oh, it's been left at the uh, coming off the clock for Egypt here. Histrionics trying to uh, rouse the crowd as well. And there is the final whistle. Morocco on the under 23. And in the end, 10 man Egypt does simply seem to run out of juice there in extra time. Having Zuli gets his hand on the trophy. And then... Now it's time to get playful. He'll make his way over there. And now the trophy is held aloft. Morocco are champions. مبروك للمنتخب المغربي الفوز بكأس إفريقيا لأقل من 23 سنة وأتمنى أن يواصل على هذا المنوال في باريس ويقدم أولمبيات استثنائية وفيما يلي موعد انطلاقة أولمبيات باريس 2024 والتي سيشارك فيها المنتخب المغربي لكرة القدم تنطلق أولمبيات باريس 
2024 في السنة القادمة وبالتحديد في شهر يوليوز